I live in Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland, and the only place in Britain where you can see a palace, a castle, and three volcanoes. Some people call it the Athens of the North, because it's a city with a lot of culture and beautiful architecture. The city has two main parts: the old town, where you can find the famous castle and most of the important tourist attractions, and the new town, which is also beautiful and is a better place to go shopping. I live in a one-bedroom flat in the new town. I can walk to the center of the city and the main train station in about twenty minutes. I like the area I live in. But I would prefer to live in the old town because most of my friends are there. I would also be closer to my university and my favorite pubs in the city. I hope I can move to the old town next year. The most important street in Edinburgh is the Royal Mile. This connects the castle to Holyrood Palace, where the British King stays when he is in Scotland. If you only have time to see one place while you're here, it has to be the Royal Mile. But if you have more time to explore, I recommend visiting the Writers' Museum. Not many people know about it, but it's fascinating and free to enter. In 2004, UNESCO gave Edinburgh the title City of Literature. Some famous writers who were born here include Robert Louis Stevenson, Sir Walter Scott, and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the creator of Sherlock Holmes. J.K. Rowling also wrote some of the Harry Potter books here. The castle and the narrow and mysterious streets in the old town probably gave her some inspiration for her magical world. We also know that she visited Greyfriars graveyard while she lived in the city. In the graveyard, there is a gravestone with the name Thomas Riddle on it. Is this where Harry Potter's great enemy got his real name? Edinburgh is a very popular destination for tourists. People visit the city in every season, but the busiest times are during the festivals in August. And December, the Edinburgh Festival Fringe takes place each year in August. The Fringe is the biggest performing arts festival in the world. It's open to anyone who wants to perform. Comedians, singers, dancers, magicians, actors. The festival lasts three to four weeks. And there are thousands of shows to watch. In the winter, Edinburgh celebrates Hogmanay, which is the Scottish word for New Year's Eve. The city has a big street party on Prince's Street to say goodbye to the old year and welcome the new one. There are concerts, fireworks, and of course, lots of eating and drinking. It's a magical time to be in the city.